What up, everybody? This is uh, Chris Rush um, coming at you with a quick video. I may be doing these videos real quick. It's maybe called my five minute rant. Sometimes, um, um, sometimes I talk and I, I get so worked up as I look into the issues of our community, when I look into the issue of abortion and the injustice that's going on. Um, I end up talking to myself and I figure, you know what, sometimes I'm just going to just grab the camera and just, just get talking because sometimes it'd be really good, I don't, you know. And so real quick, I want to just uh, quickly talk about, uh, f for a quick five minute rant, on the fact that abortion is literally an attack um, against the womb against many but let me let 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 me make this clear that if it wasn't for the black community abortion when he, we wouldn't even have abortion in this nation it was literally set up by eugenics the elite white people who had money to to decrease the number of black people so the power of the vote and the power that the economic power that we would never gain and to furthermore to make this an issue about choice of a woman, you don't know the history of Planned Parenthood. And I'm talking about recent history. I'm talking about stuff that's brand new. So let me let me uh, help you out real quick uh, for anybody. Well, let me just give you this quote. Since 1973, legal abortion has killed more African Americans than AIDS, cancer, diabetes, heart disease, violent crime combined. Every week, more blacks die in America abortion clinics than there were uh, killed in the entire Vietnam War and the largest chain of abortion clinics in the United States is the operate operated by Planned Parenthood. Let me tell you, every four days, Planned Parenthood and the abortionists they kill more people than the KKK did alone. They kill more people than the KKK did in a hundred years. That Planned Parenthood and abortionists are the new KK. Don't get out your mind that it is the NRA or any other silly stuff like that. It is literally the Planned Planned Parenthood. I only got a few more minutes to break this down. Um, let me give you this from 1973. The founder and member of the American Eugenics Society. He said, "Birth control and abortion are turning out to be the great eugenic advances of our time." Oh wow. Um, here's a quote. I can't remember who this is by. I took a picture of this. The best way to hate a nigger is to hate him before he's born. <laughs> All right. This is a quote, I believe, by Jesse Jackson. Um, and he's flip-flopped in his position. As it says, contraception will become a form of drug warfare against helpless in this nation. Those whom we could not get rid of in the, in the rice paddles of Vietnam, we now uh, propose to exterminate if necessary, eliminate if possible, in the odd, odd wards and um, clinics of the urban hospitals. Okay, um, here's a, here's a qu great quote for a guy who was in the Jet magazine. Because for some reason, our black leaders actually cared about this back in the 70s. For some reason, oh, they weren't bought out yet by Planned Parenthood. Here it is. I believe that the entire question of abortion is just one more in the um, continuation series of events to eliminate the black population. Abortion law hides behind the guise of helping women. In reality, is an attempt to destroy our people. Let me, uh, let me go into... Uh, Let me go into a. I like this quote. Anyone who vote who votes for Planned Parenthood programs in the black neighborhood is an Uncle Tom. So you know, hey, that may be sound mean, but if you're if 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 you're black and you don't if it, maybe you're either misinformed or you don't understand that Planned Parenthood wants to wipe out black people. Oh, Chris, that was back in the day. Do you not understand that the seeds that they sown back, like what twenty, thirty, forty years ago, you know. They're influences, right? They're they're actually in full operation right now. That it, it nothing's changed with the leadership. Uh, let me find that Jesse Jackson quote super quick. Oh, here it is. Abortion is genocide, Reverend Jesse Je, Reverend Jesse Jackson. Uh, what here's another thing. What happens to the mind of a person and the moral fabric of a nation that accepts the uh, aborting of the life of a baby without the uh, peg? The pain of, of conscience. What kind of person and what kind of society will we have 20 years hence if life can be taken so casually? Okay, here's my rant. For, here's my five-minute rant. Is that 
We can no longer ignore this, African-American black leaders. We can no longer sit back and watch our people killed, watch our people slaughtered, watch our people target by this organization, watch our people brainwash that this thing is okay. We must begin to rise up and educate our people and teach them the truth of this. All right? That's it. My time is up.